Good morning, 1SA, and welcome to our reading session for today. So we're carrying on with our book, Who Eats Who? And today we're going to be answering some comprehension questions. So switch on those listening ears and make sure that you are super focused. We'll read through the book and then we'll have a look at the questions at the end. Here we go. Food chains. All living things are part of food chains. Yes, all living things, big and small, plants and animals. A food chain is made when one living thing eats another living thing. So here the grass is eaten by the snail. The snail is eaten by the frog. The frog is eaten by the fox. Okay, so a food chain is made up when one living thing eats another living thing and that living thing eats another and that living thing eats another. Why do living things eat each other? All living things need food. It helps them grow and gives them energy. Don't break the chain. Every link in a food chain is important. Grass is important to lions even though they don't eat it. This food chain starts with grass which is eaten by the zebras. And zebras are herbivores. They eat grass. Without grass, zebras wouldn't have anything to eat and they would die. The zebras are eaten by the lions. Lions are carnivores. They eat zebras. Without zebras and other herbivores, the lions wouldn't have anything to eat either. Yuck, I don't eat grass. But without grass, there would be no zebras for me to eat. All chained together. Food chains happen everywhere. You'll find them in hot places and in cold places. Hot places. The plant is eaten by the insect, which is eaten by a lizard, which is eaten by the snake. Snakes are camouflage. Their skin matches their environment, so lizards can't see them coming. Poor lizards. Cold places. The shrimp is eaten by the Arctic cod, which is eaten by the seal, which is eaten by the polar bear. Polar bears wait for seals near holes in the ice. <gasps> You're in the chain too. Humans are in food chains too. Yes, that means you. Humans are omnivores. They can eat plants, fish and meat. He's saying, oh, I'd like roast chicken for dinner. So here we've got the corn, which is eaten by the chicken, which is eaten by the human. Humans usually buy meat instead of hunting it. You can see here that's at the butcher's shop. Humans usually cook meat before eating it. Mmm. Some humans choose not to eat meat. They are called vegetarians. Does the chain end? There is a pattern in food chains. A carnivore, such as a lion or a fox, is usually at the top of the food chain. 
This is because these animals are excellent hunters or predators. The grizzly bear is a predator. But this food chain does not end with the grizzly bear. No, a food chain never ends. When a grizzly bear dies, it is eaten by bugs in the ground. They break it down in the soil and make it into food for plants. Then the chain starts again. You can see that down here where we start with the plants, eaten by the deer, eaten by the grizzly bear, and then eventually the grizzly bear will die and the bugs will eat him and then they will make food for the plants to grow again. Who eats who? Yes, all living things are in food chains, from lions to insects to you. Now take a look back through this book and try and remember who eats who. So you can see here, these are the food chains that we've been looking at in this book. So let's see what we can remember. The grass was eaten by, who eats the grass in this group? I think it was the snail, wasn't it? And then the snail is eaten by the frog. And then the frog is eaten by the fox. What about the corn? Can you remember what food chain the corn starts? So it starts with the corn and then the corn is eaten by which of these animals? It is the chicken. And then the chicken is eaten by which of these animals? The human. Excellent job. Okay, so we are going to do some comprehension questions today. So the first question that I'd like you to try and answer is, what is a food chain? What is a food chain? The second question is, what is the animal called who is usually at the top of the food chain? What is the animal called that is usually at the top of the food chain? I'll give you a clue, it begins with the p sound. Number three, what is an omnivore? Ooh, that's a tricky one. What is an omnivore? Number four, what animals does a polar bear like to eat? What animals does a polar bear like to eat? See if you can answer those questions. You could tell them to your adult and they can type them in an email to me. Or if you're feeling more energetic, you could write some sentences to answer the questions. Okay, good luck.